kill me, by the way. Like, we're two different worlds. We're in a 600-wheel Camaro that's a... Uh, I don't know. Probably 900 wheel challenger uh, on 10 six, pounds. 1600 at the at the motor. So probably 13, 1400 at the rear wheels. On 20 pounds of boost. But yeah. I think right now it's around 10 pounds of boost. And it's probably, I think you're saying it's around 900 wheel right now the way it says. Yeah. Listen to how angry it sounds at idle. I know, that's crazy. Insane car. I'm here with Derek and this is his twin turbo challenger and guys there's a lot to check out with this car so we're gonna dive into it but first meet Derek. Derek how you doing today? Excellent. Good man. So we've been uh, me and Derek have been buds for actually quite a few years and this is the first time I've actually been out with this car and uh, hopefully the first time I get to go for a ride in it as well. It, we've hung out for years and we've just never ever like connected dots so I could go for a ride with him but uh, today is gonna be that day. But guys, why don't you come check this car out and learn a little bit more about it. So Derek, what's going on here with this motor? Well, it's a Gen 3 Hemi 426. So it's a stroker, 6.1 liter stroker. And it's a partial fill block and uh, got aftermarket billet heads with a solid roller camshaft. So it makes 1300 at the wheel at 25 pounds of boost. Wow. 1300 wheel at 25 pounds of boost that's insane so now you originally bought this car in stock format this wasn't done like you didn't buy this like no this. it had a pro charger on a stock engine on a okay. stock six one so you were originally pro charging what was that an f1 or something like uh, that no it was a p1 really basic a p1 yeah like an entry level okay yeah. and then you ended up upgrading that so to an f1. f1 a d1 a d1 then an f1 <laughs> right okay yeah so when you're running the car supercharged on an F1, what kind of power was it making back then? Uh, with a little bit of nitrous to help cool the intake charge, it was 980. Okay, so you were a Pro Charger fanboy. You had a P1, a D1, and then an F1. So the F1 was making 980 to the wheels. Yeah. So what made you get rid of the 980 wheel car and the Pro Charger to go to a twin turbo setup? Well, because the amount of strain on the crank, I broke up the crank, the hub on the crank on the balancer, and that was the last straw and I didn't make any more power so I wanted more power. Okay so you went twin turbo because obviously less strain on the actual drivetrain and stuff like that which is pretty awesome. So what about times with a car like this? Like what's your best out of curiosity? Quarter mile, eighth mile, what kind of track speed you run and stuff like well, that? Well with the twin turbo setup it's so far on quarter mile would be uh, 932 at 148 Okay. on 17 pounds. Okay. Traction an issue and on uh, eighth mile at NPR I did a 588 586 at 122 oh wow so which would translate to, to an eight second uh, pass it should be an eight nine this is Derek's Challenger he's down on uh, wastegate right now got an eight second street car now guys this is the type of car that would surprise you because look at this car like i mean okay yes it's sitting on a big drag radial or a big drag tire out back but you would never expect that you had an eight second challenger rolling down the street beside you 4700 pounds a 40 4700 pound challenger check this car out guys like it looks like it's a stock car other than obviously the big wheels and if you catch a glimpse of that cage that's right guys this is cage by the way come check this out but yeah, so this, and what year was this car, Derek? An 09? 2009. 2009. So this is an SRT8. All the gauges, all the cool levers, full cage, full prepped car. It's got a turbo 400 with the gear vendors on it. 
and a four nine inch IRS with a 350 gear. Do you have any future plans with the car or is this kind of like the final configuration and is this you done with it? No, I do have a dart block. Just give it a, a little bit more power. Right. And maybe a, a couple of bigger turbos and let's up the power from 1300 wheel to maybe 16, 1700 and play with that since not much I can do about the weight. Right. So I might as well compensate with a little bit of power and see if we can get into the low weights. So with that motor in here, would this still be classified as a streetcar? Is this something you're still going to drive? Absolutely. It's the, it's the stock ECU, so I might have to go to a Holly or an aftermarket ECU when we get over this hump. We're kind of at the limits of it with this horsepower. So, Absolutely. Now, for you boys in the U.S., I understand you guys get a lot of eight-second streetcars that are running around all over the place. We don't see a lot of that up here in Canada. So... To see something like this on the streets is actually really, really cool. There's a lot of guys, and this is so important, that claim that they have street cars, but they don't really have street cars. And I'm sure you know who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. Guys that have full drag cars that claim to be street, but they're not street. This is an actual plated, driven multiple times a week street car. This is the real deal. So guys, this car still has air conditioning, cruise control, all factory options and running eight seconds. And this is one of the greatest things about, and thanks Dave for the pointing, that's wonderful display. Nice hands by the way too. But uh, this is one of the wonderful things about modern muscle is that you can have all these wonderful technologies and this thing still drives like a normal car. I mean, yes, it does have a bit of a lump to it with the cam and stuff like that in it. But overall, like it drives like a regular car. Speaking of driving, I have to go for a ride in this thing to see what kind of power it makes. So you know what guys, stay tuned and let's go see what this thing's all about. There's a big bad Challenger filling up. Going for some highway runs, right Derek? Probably not. <laughs> This is, this is a tame video. What a beautiful car you have though. Is this full drag pack? Is that what this is? It is. Wow. That thing's fast. That's a supercharged fucking AMG. wastegate at the moment uh but other than that like it just drives like a regular car of course it's cage you can see the cage up above my head and stuff like that but yeah like it's a fully functioning street car which is insane that this thing's rolling around pulling eights like that pass there it just absolutely plants you in your seat it's so insane guys you should if you ever see Derek bug him for a ride I don't know if you'll get it or not but at least you can do his ask it's it's such a quick car guys so there you go guys you've been warned if you see this car on the streets understand it's a little bit more than just a challenger srt with some drag radials out back this thing will probably dust you and uh just know you've been warned okay so i gotta know your wife might not like the answer to this and maybe you're not even allowed to answer this on camera but what kind of money is a build like this with this twin turbo setup in this car oh well you hear a lot of rumors <laughs> <laughs> Some say a quarter mil. No, it's, <laughs> in all honesty, from day one, probably in, it's north of ninety thousand. Bullshit. <laughs> Dave doesn't like that answer. <laughs> okay, so we're roughly a hundred grand. Is that including the car, or is that additional? Including the car. Including the car. <laughs> I, I do most. So, Dave, you had mentioned something about Armor All or something like oh, that. Wow. Derek, what's the deal here? What's the deal with Armor All? Wow. <laughs> what were we, we were like sixteen? Huh? <laughs> Tell it. Come on there. So Derek and I were, we were driving uh, on an unknown street in an unknown city. My car was a, still a six-speed. And uh, we're side by side. And this was just after I put the, the new motor, I think, in my car. Yeah, it's 2012. Right? And uh, no, 2013. 13. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we went to give her, and uh, our cars were pretty much even. And then we did it again uh, after another set of lights. And I just walked him. Just walked him. I'm like, where'd Derek go? And what happened, Derek? I armor all armor all my pedals earlier. Oh, probably the dumbest thing you could probably do. <laughs> and his foot slipped off the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is, 
Dave, Dave here. Dave here is undefeated. Yeah. There you go, guys. So this has been a lot of fun shooting this car today. Uh, Derek, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me and go for lunch and shoot the shit with Dink Dave here. <laughs> Gotta love DinkDave.com. <laughs> Only fans. Only Check fans. it out. Don't forget Dink Derek. <laughs> What a beautiful day. This has been absolutely gorgeous for this time of year, October, and we're out still with the cars, which is honestly such a such a nice thing. Half the time it's usually snowing by now. So Usually if we can get Thanksgiving weekend, we're doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely incredible day. And uh, maybe we'll see you guys on the streets tomorrow night. Happy Thanksgiving, folks. That track channel. Woohoo!